I was thinking like anyone who was like, all right, somewhat bigger, but like that still fit the like the the style that you had. Yep. And then you ended up linking up with Rome. Oh um, yeah. You know, what what would you say uh and how that experience went and who he is? Cause I mean, we talked about this, bro. Like your style, like definitely, like, I mean, it has that vibe of like sublime feel yeah. to it. And it's yeah. got it's so it, it's so unique. So it crosses so many different, I think, kind of styles. Uh, but I remember when, when, when Rome got like connected with you, man, I was like, man, that's, that's a really, that one fits well. It's interesting. I think that one might, so kind of talk about that for a minute. That one was, I think it happened organic, bro. I think through the, the first, like when the, when, uh, when the song was getting popular, the EP was getting popular, like in the summer, somehow his, his widow found out who I was, Mama Troy. She, her name is Mama Troy. Okay, and, you're, uh, you're talking about uh, Bradley's. Bradley's, yeah. Bradley's, yeah. So uh, she was super, like, she, she was super supportive, bro, from the beginning. She was like, oh, this shit is tight. Like, and then I remember I met her, like, at the fucking La Vuelta, the the, wow. the lowrider shows that they have okay. right there in Barrio, in Barrio Logan. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. I, I was still living right there in Barrio Logan. And uh, I met her right there. She was real cool, bro. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to tell... I'm gonna tell Rome about you. I'm gonna tell everybody about you. And and wow. And then uh, I guess finally she 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 told him or he found out somehow. And then uh, yeah, he reached out to me on Instagram, posted a story about me, DM me. He's like, bro, we got a link. Like your shit is sick. And literally like that, bro. And then once I moved to LA, I was like, oh, I'm out here now, bro. It's late. Yeah. And he was like, sick, bro. I want you to be on the on the album, the new album. Yeah. Wow. Uh, sent me sent me like a few little rough drafts of shit. He's all like. Here's a few, a few vibes, bro. See what you see what you what you're feeling. But like, either way, come through the come through the house and we can link up. So I went to I went to this was pad up in like the hills, Hollywood. Hollywood shit. hills, right? Yeah. Nice ass house, bro. Nice ass house. Got his own little studio and shit. And um, it was cool, man. Like I just got good good energy from him and and uh, his engineer. And then his other homie came through, and um. That shit was sick, bro. And he was like, fuck yeah, bro. Like, like we still gotta work on more, like more shit in the future. Yeah. But that shit was sick for me, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, you're literally the lead singer of Sublime now. And it's like, yeah, wow. I love that. I love Sublime, bro. And when people started telling me like I sounded like him, and I, I didn't see it at first, like until somebody told me. And then after they told me, I was like, oh, that's true. I used to listen to these fools like crazy, like obsessed. Yeah. So yeah. I think it just kind of came out like naturally. <laughs> yeah, no, and I said it, it's kind of like like see you have your own your for sure your own style, but it crosses over so many um, other sounds, right? Like it, and yeah. I think that's probably a lot of artists that you take pieces of, you know, it's a, a subconsciously you're taking stuff from as you've exactly. grown up and listen to different things, and 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 that's another thing like that's so unique to to kind of your music because you, you add in the Spanish aspect of it. You do, you know, you have hip hop or you sing and it's kind of, it, it's just unique, but Rome is, Rome has a little bit of that flair too. Maybe not, it doesn't yeah. Spanish really, but it's say And Bradley did, man. And, and Bradley. Yeah, and this would have been yeah. saying you need to do a cover of a uh, Caress Me Down. Oh, bro, I've told this fool like that. Hey, this guy's got to no, do it. a cover on this thing. I got to do a cover of all of them, bro. No, nah, the, the, the first time, bro, that I ever sang or rapped in Spanish, like, purposely like that yeah. was because i heard a song from from sublime the yeah, chica yeah. metipo song chica yeah, metipo, yeah, yeah. where the whole thing's in spanish and i yeah. remember being tripped out like what the fuck is this for white <laughs> like what super, the punk fuck song going on? Too. super punk song dude it's fucking sick bro but that was the first time i was like oh hell yeah like i have to do some shit in spanish and it was literally that that was like the first thing that made me even think of doing that i don't know why it was like didn't click before but did that was like 2011 or some shit. The first time I ever did, and yeah. it was because of that. Because of other songs too, but it was mainly that song. Like the, the whole song was in fucking Spanish, and I was like, "That's yeah. sick." That's yeah. what's crazy about you linking with Rome, though, because like I, I'm a huge Sublime fan too, and like I've seen like all these YouTube home videos of Bradley. Like he was super into yeah. rap and super into Hispanic culture. So Dude, like I'm honestly, yeah. like, if it's, he was still here, like I'm sure he would love your music, bro. Like. It's just a culture thing, bro. I mean, like that, you know, it's like Long Beach and doing growing up and like, you know, I mean, just just like us, like you grow up like a, around you're around the culture, you're around things like that. And it just it's 
it, it's 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 impossible to not take that culture in to you know um especially like i said if you if you're just if you're just around it as much as they as you know all of us kind of tend to be even, yeah, if, exactly. even if you're mexican man and uh so yeah, and I, I saw that was what was cool, man. When you when you got when you linked with Rome, and I was like, all right, like I feel like this is like something that's gonna take the next step for it. help, like just keep yeah. this because it puts you in front of a, a new audience, yeah, right? yeah. in front of a new audience. And and he was dope about sharing your stuff. I remember like early, he would always he would tag you always, bro. I was from, like, damn, like I, 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 I never even expect that from nobody. You know what I mean? I, yeah, and, 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 and it was doing it so, just for the love organic about it is like like generally it, he genuinely liked the music and was like bro i want to share this dude's music i remember he, i think they were on tour and he was listening to your he was listening to you like in their bus or something like that and yeah. i remember he posted on, on his story and, and tagged you and i'm like we're like you can't ask for better free advertisement than someone exactly. who's got a, a dope <laughs> following to say like bro check this dude out and uh and so that that was uh, then that was before that album came out and everything that was before yeah. their the sublime with rome uh album came out uh um, it was like a few months like at least six, seven months before that might have been, before been talking linked about. up with them oh, when oh he yeah, was, yeah like yeah. posting that stuff yeah. it was for sure before he, yeah it was like because we had already been that that was happening like he was posting my songs and shit and like dming me like yeah link whatever and I was like, damn, that's sick. And then finally we we did it. Um, I forgot when. It was like early when I had first like moved to LA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then and then pretty, even after it... that, it's it still was like uh, a year later that the album came out. Maybe a year and a half later. Yeah, that came out what like last year, 19? 19? 2019. Yeah. yeah. Summer? summer? Yeah, it was like summer? almost summer. Yeah. And I remember was it pretty I was like, nerve wracking getting in the studio. In the studio, nah, bro, because I I think because he was just so cool about it, like a yeah, little yeah. bit of butterflies, like just you're meeting somebody new. So I, I yeah. really didn't know him. So you're like, okay, I don't know what to expect because I don't know him. And it's also sure. fucking Rome. Like, yeah, fucking, yeah. fucking like, sick ass house. The first time? Well, we literally just wrote it there. Just wrote it there. Oh, yeah. I was like, like, um, I think he had literally had pulled that song up while we were there. And um, I was like, all right, wow. let's fucking write it. Let's, let's write it. He was like, okay, this is like the subject, whatever. Um, we wrote it there, fucking recorded it, did a few takes and shit. We just literally just vibe, bro, and just like talk about shit. But yeah. but as so as soon as I got there, bro, like I already knew, like oh, okay, this was cool, so I don't have to like. I didn't it feel weird about that being pressure there. off. Yeah, right. Just kinda, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, kind of just vibe out. Yeah, and I, the only thing I can remember, man, when I first got to listen to it when they came out of the album, I'm like, bro, I wish this fool's verse was longer. I wish yep. this guy got more time <laughs> on this track, bro. I'm like, man, Rome should have gave kick him another verse on this yeah. thing or something. It's like, <laughs> because it was, it, I mean, it's it's uh it's one of the best songs on that album. I mean, honestly, and and uh, yeah, man, I was I was I, I mean, you know, that's what's so cool, man. I think being from here is that like. Anytime that I mean, if 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 you're if you're a real person, man, anytime you see someone from your area have success, it's such a cool thing because you can feel like, man, oh, like yeah. you know, I, I I could take part in that, man. I could I can I can take joy in that and see, you know, Eddie making it because he deserves to make it. Like that's like the coolest thing. And bro, I think that's how I feel. You, that's how I feel. You know? Yeah, Thank it's, you, it's so dope. that's how I feel about all kinds of people, bro. Like like when fucking Sergio was playing for the Giants. Well, he's still yeah. playing in MLB now. But, like, when he first got in, I was like, oh, for this sure. is sick. This is sick. This was one of the main closers of the fucking Giants. And yeah. then I, re I remember, bro, when he fucking struck out Miguel Cabrera to, yeah. to win the World Series, bro, like, fucking almost cried and shit. I was like, bro, like, this yeah, bro. And, and, and you're Brawley, going crazy. Bro. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, like, for, for, like, even that for me, bro, I went to, like, we played Little League against each other. I went to high school with each yeah, other. Like, like he's, he's a couple of years, two years older than me, bro. So, like, that was, like, bro, I mean, I remember being, like, like throwing chairs over. Like, I was, like, you know, <laughs> you're just fired up because it's such a yep. – it, 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 it's part of this, man. And that's what's so cool about the Valley, I think, is because um, – for the most part, I think everyone's super supportive of people, you know, eventually you, you Hell yeah. as you grow up, man, I mean, you realize like, man, for someone to make it out of here and to put their, that city as where they're from, it, it shines such a great light on where we're from. You want to see everyone make it. And it's, uh, it is, it is special, man. Yeah. Anytime anyone from here, man, is, uh, 
it, it, so th that's what's so cool because we've seen guys make it in sports right we've seen people make it in certain things but music's different i haven't seen that happen yeah music is uh, different you know and and to see to see you kind of it continuing towards that that trend um which has been amazing because I mean I just seen your 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 um your trajectory over the past few years. I mean you went from you know no followers on Instagram to you know like you know, you, you, got, you got your following now and you're continuing to grow that following and um it's just cool to see people really kind of get you know get a grasp of understanding what your music's like. Uh, oh, yeah. 